When you think of York Region, you may think of its growing urban centers like the cities of Vaughan, Richmond Hill, and Markham. You may not know that just up the street is a very different place. Join us as we journey across York Region from small local farms to large commercial operations and discover what its agriculture and agri-food sector is all about. York Region is unique in the way that we have a growing urban area, home to Canada's second largest tech hub with the mix of rural communities. But we also have one of Canada's largest food and beverage processing hubs. Our agriculture and agri-food industry is a significant driver of the local economy. The agri-food value chain covering everything from farms to food processors, retailers and restaurants provides approximately 57,000 jobs and generates $2.7 billion in GDP. This includes more than 700 farms and 270 food and beverage processors. York Region has some of the most productive agricultural lands in Canada, including the famous Holland Marsh. It is one of two specialty crop areas for the province and stands out as a key agricultural asset for the region. More than half of the Holland Marsh is located within York Region. Known as the soup and salad bowl of Ontario, growers produce more fresh carrots, onions, celery and leafy greens than any other area in the province. When it comes to food, food products, flowers, you know, honey, beverages, you name it, it's in York Region. My name is Avia Eek, I'm a councillor in King Township and I'm married to a third generation Holland Marsh farmer. What makes agriculture special in York Region is the fact that York Region is acknowledging how important agriculture is. Through our ag strategy, York Region is taking the time to make sure that agriculture and all of its diversification is protected. We're slated to grow exponentially in the next couple of decades. People moving into York Region aren't going to be looking for just the nice amenities, the nice parks and, and the nice roads. They're going to be looking to buy local, fresh, sustainably grown food. And in York Region, we've got it. What I really love about being part of the Agriculture and Agri-Food Advisory Committee is the great cross-section of people that we have sitting around the table. It's not just farmers and the different sectors. We've got food processors, we've got food startup people, we've got the regional food network. It encompasses the entire value chain. Another really proud point is the fact that the Muckrops Research Station is located in York Region. It is innovative, it's affiliated, it's the plant sciences section of the University of Guelph. And what they do is they help farmers identify which cultivars, which varieties of which vegetables are going to do well in our organic based soil. It's really quite interesting. There's no question that the Holland Marsh is unique. York Region has highly favorable soil conditions for agriculture, which results in a broad range of production opportunities for the sector. By land size, the largest area for production is dedicated to corn, soybeans, and wheat. These field crops cover over 64,000 acres across York Region. There's also an abundance of livestock producers who raise beef, poultry, sheep, and more. It's no surprise that the larger commercial farms make up the bulk of York Region land dedicated to agriculture, but there are many smaller farms too. These businesses provide opportunities for local residents and visitors to see where their food comes from and enjoy an abundance of delicious choices. Not sure where to get started? The York Farm Fresh mobile app lists plenty of local farms and farmers markets across York Region and helps you find them right from your phone. By now, we've explored the abundance and diversity of farms across York Region, but that's only one side of the agriculture and agri-food sector. York Region is the fourth largest food and beverage processing hub in Canada, with 270 food and beverage manufacturers and distributors located within its border. This includes everything from large-scale and international processing operations to new startups. On the startup side, you need look no further than the York Region Food and Beverage Accelerator Program at York University's Y-Space. 
This program is one of Canada's first accelerator programs dedicated to consumer packaged goods. It's now in its second year of operation and it's spawned a number of successful startups. On the large scale producer side, well, you have people like Mark. My name is Mark Josephs. I'm the president of Kisco Products. We're a family run business and we've been in business for 44 years. We manufacture freezies and we're the largest freezy manufacturer in Canada. We've been in York Region for a long time, so it's always been home to us. In 1984, we moved from Agent Court to Markham. We eventually grew the facilities, and we had to find somewhere that was suitable for us, where obviously lease rates were uh, within what we could afford, but also something that had the space, as well as access to employees, and was close to highways. In 2007, we moved to Woodbridge. We were able to find this location here, and it was right off of the 407, right off of Highway 7, and uh, it's been a fantastic location. With the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen more than ever just how important our agriculture and agri-food sector is to the well-being of our communities. We all know that food brings people together, and our local farmers, our food processors, retailers, and restaurants are such an important part of what makes your region unique. Our work has only just begun, and we're committed to making sure that agriculture and agri-food remains a strong and vibrant sector in York Region. So there you have it, your own personal tour of York Region. No matter where you look, there's always a friendly face, helping feed our communities, creating jobs, and driving innovation. In spite of challenges, this sector, like the people who work in it, is strong and resilient. And in York Region, the future of agriculture and agri-food looks bright.